Hi, I'm Joe Semino with ProAct. This is the next episode of The Source Live, and today we're in the middle of the beautiful state of Guanajuato, Mexico. Here with us today is Diego Hernandez. Diego, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Appreciate you being here. Tell us a little about, uh, about what we're seeing and where we are today. Okay, so we're in the northern part of the state of Guanajuato. Uh, we're currently harvesting green leaf. So we have one of the Taylor Farms uh, crews out here working for today. So our largest pr uh, products are iceberg, romaine, broccoli, organic broccoli, and green leaf. So we first started working in this region in, back in 2001, pulling raw product from, this, from the state of Guanajuato. Our uh, processing, processing facility, we started up in 2007, and we've been shipping from 2007 to date uh, over 98, 99% of our product to the United States. We're averaging 6 million pounds of finished product to the States. At per this week time. out of Mexico? Per week wow. out of Mexico. That's astonishing. So as ProAct, you know, it's important for us to have uh, continuity of supply, 52 weeks of supply, right? And the, uh, the diversification on Taylor Farms' behalf of growing in, in the States as well as Mexico uh, leads to consistent supply, correct? Correct. So that was the strategy behind working down in Guanajuato, where we can secure volume, secure the products for our clients, uh, on a year-round basis. So 100% of our growers are in drip irrigation, so that's part of the success that we've had down here with the limited water supply. And we also have 100% uh, of our ranches in deep wells. So that's all our water sources are from a deep well source. Diego, here we're, we're winding up in the northern region of, of Guanajuato currently, correct? And we're about to transition to where? So we'll be transitioning over the month of November to the Bajillo, which is the southern part of the state of Guanajuato. And we do that, why? What, what's the benefit of, of, of moving south? So it's just the weather, the, diff, the main difference is the elevation from the north to the Bajillo. So we basically do the mimic the move from Salinas to Yuma. We're basically 30 minutes out from one region to another. So that makes things a lot simpler. We have one sole processing facility. So we're there year round. Much simpler than the one from California to Arizona where we're packing up shop and moving 600 miles south. Right. So with the vast majority of your product going to the US, uh, tell us what your customers are looking for for sourcing out of the, uh, the central Mexico region. So what they're looking for and what we offer is a high quality, consistent, food safe product. Which fits well with us obviously, it's 52 weeks of supply. Logistic wise, it's a huge opportunity for us and an advantage for our customers in the Midwest to the Eastern seaboard. Another reason we partner with Taylor Farms, we appreciate all the work you guys do, Diego. Oh, thank Thanks you. for being with us today. Thank you. I'm here with Marcela Escobel from Taylor Farms Mexico. Marcelo, welcome. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Joe. So tell us a little bit about your role. What do you do on a daily basis? So I run food safety and QA for the company, for Taylor Farms Mexico. I oversee field and processing plant in regards to food safety and QA. So a lot of paperwork, a lot of testing, uh, a lot of regulations that you have to deal with, I assume? Yeah, so we must be uh, sure that we are in compliance with local and United States regulation. I've noticed as we've entered different ranches, uh, the measures that are put in place from a security and a food safe uh, standpoint are far different from those we're used to in California. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, you're right, Joe. And that's because we have a different environment, so the, um, the risk assessment must, um, must be different due to the location. And based on the risk assessment is why we have come up with all these um, preventive measures and all the systems that we have in place right now. And since we have to cross the border, we must ensure that we follow same high standards, if not beyond the ones that are required in the United States. Marcella, we've seen a tremendous amount of pride in the work being done uh, in, in Guanajuato. Uh, over the last day, we've been touring fields. Talk to us about that and, and the sense of pride and the quality uh, of fresh and safe product you guys are producing. I'm glad you noticed that, Joe. Um, and it's true, um, each member of our team take it very personal. Everything they do and everything we do, we take it uh, personal, we know that uh, for each bag we ship to our customers, we know that each bag has the, our name there. So um, every time we are constantly um, figuring out ways to improve our process so we can deliver the, the, fresh, uh, the freshest product to, to our customers. 
Yeah, it's definitely noticeable. We thank you for all that you do and the, the passion and the effort that goes in into the work that you do and the product that you put out. Appreciate it. Thank you.